the objective within this lesson is to relate decimal and fraction multiplication. Read this multiplication expression using unit form and the word of. Did you come up with one-tenth of four? Write this expression as a multiplication sentence using a fraction. And solve. So we have the fraction one-tenth times four equaling four-tenths. Write this as a decimal. Four-tenths written as a decimal is written as 0 0.4. Zero point one times four does equal zero point four. Here we have one tenth times two. Let's write this as a fraction multiplication. One tenth times two, which equals two tenths written in decimal form, you write that as zero point two. So that 0 0.1 times 2 is equal to 0 0.2, or 2 tenths. Here we have 0 0.01 times 6, or 1 hundredth times 6. Write this as a fraction and solve. That's 1 hundredth times 6, equaling 6 hundredths. Written as a decimal, that's 0 0.06. 100 times 6 is equal to 6 hundredths. Okay, it's your turn to try. Try 100 times 8. Write it out as a fraction. And then maybe put it in decimal form. 0 0.08. 1 hundredth times 8 is equal to 8 hundredths. Write this as a fraction multiplication sentence, and then solve it. We have one-tenth times one-tenth, which equals one-hundredth, which equals 0 0.01. Let's draw an area model to see if this makes sense. One tenth, one tenth, one tenth times one tenth is one hundredth. So that's doubly shaded there. Here we have two tenths times one tenth. Let's write that out. Two tenths times one tenth is equal to two hundredths, which is written as zero point zero two. Here we have 1 and 2 tenths times 1 tenth. Let's look at that place value chart to see what would happen. Which direction would the decimal, would the number be shifted with its places? Let's look. Place 1 and 2 tenths into our place value chart. Multiplying by one tenth, we're going to shift our digits one unit to the right. So we get this equaling to twelve hundredths. Let's write this out as fractions. 
1 and 2 tenths is also equal to 12 tenths times 1 tenth, which equals 12 hundredths, which equals, as a decimal, 0 0.12. Here we have one tenth times one hundredth. We can write that out in the fractions and solve. Ten times a hundred is a thousand. So we have one thousandth. And that, that's a decimal is written as zero point zero zero one. You try. Pause the video while you do your work. That's 5 tenths times 1 hundredth, which equals 5 thousandths, which in decimal form is 0 0.005. 5 tenths times 1 hundredth equals 5 thousandths. We also could have used a place value chart. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and multiplying by a hundredth is shifting the decimal point over twice. Shift the digit over twice to the thousandths place. 7 times 2 tenths. I'm going to write this problem expressing the decimal as a fraction. That would equal 7 times 2 tenths. So when we multiply, we get 7 times 2 over 10, which is equal to 14 tenths, which equals 1.4. 14 tenths as a decimal is 1.4. And so 7 times 2 tenths is equal to 1 and 4 tenths. 7 tenths times 2 tenths equals what? Let's write that out. Fourteen hundredths, written as a decimal, 0 0.14. One last problem, 7 hundredths times 2 tenths. Written out into fraction form, 14 thousandths. And then I write 14 thousandths as 0 0.014. And I can write that out so that we can relate decimals and fractions.